Dry eyes, if mishandled, can damage your skin. Okay? Whoa. All right. Now, dry eyes. The reason I'm using it for the for a demonstration here is because dry ice and the way it works, it doesn't melt the way regular ice does. It goes through something called sublimation. And you think that's amusing, but it's actually exactly why I got it. Because it takes, the way it sublimates, the way it goes from a solid to a gas, actually makes it a great demonstrator for inertia. Because a very little bit of force makes it move pretty well, right? Now the reason it's so easy to move is because all of that gas coming off of it, you see all the gas coming off, it's coming down the side? That gas creates kind of an air pocket between the ice and the table. And that air pocket really reduces friction. Remember we wrote that a second ago. Friction is what stops inertia. So if you can reduce the friction, you can keep the inertia going. Yes? It's, it's kind of like a, an air hockey table. Yeah, it's a lot like an air hockey table. Those little uh, pores in the table push air up and it gives you a cushion of air between the puck and the uh, table. And so it takes a very little amount of force to make it slide a relatively decent distance. Okay? If you've ever gotten to play with dry ice, this is fun. you can do this for a really long time. And you, if I could actually make this table four or five times longer than it is, I could barely tap it about like that. And it would probably go the entire distance unless it hit something dirty on the table like that spot right there. Very little amount of force, and it's going to keep going. Okay. So, air hockey table, dry ice, same general idea. Now, before I stop here, I'm going to make a quarter sink. Oh, I put it on metal and All right, here we go. Oh, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Ice cream. That's nice. Oh. All right. There it goes. You hear it? It's not really singing. It's rattling. You have to have an ID to buy the As it rattles, you're actually able, or what's happening is the, uh, tip, the, the quarter itself is warmer than the dry ice, and so the air pockets are getting trapped under the quarter and it's making it bounce. And if you do it right, you get some pretty good vibrations, and those vibrations make the metal piece of the hammer bounce. Grow up, I know it sounds funny, but... Excuse me. <laughs> okay, that's that's amusing enough. Okay. Anyway, this was the last demonstration. Draw a picture of this one. Let's call it dry ice. Right there. And I'll play with this for a minute while you'll draw. Uh, you can get it at United. Uh, I don't know. I, I look so old, they don't ask. I would assume you might, because if you do hold a dry ice on the will actually burn. Yeah, it's called a freezer burn, basically. Can't you get it, like, from the screen outside, too? If it's cold enough outside, yes. That's just frostbite. Where is it made from? It's made out of carbon dioxide. So it's making like a swirl, that's cool. Sorry. Making like a what? Uh -huh. So it goes, uh, just one more. Yeah, but it is water. Yeah, but it is water. This is why I got the paper towels. What? What? Oh, my God. That's something you drink. It looks like a science experiment. It is a science experiment. All right. With that, folks, listen. Okay, do we have any questions related to inertia at this point? No. Think we got it? No way. Back up. All right. We are done.
We're going to go ahead and split the classes back up. And with the time we have remaining, 